Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today talking about the best Town Hall 10 attack strategy post update. Go ahead and get the replay going. A lot of people were speculating as to is it going to be miners? Is it going to be hogs? What's going to be the Town Hall 10 go to now that three stars are going to be likely more accessible with the Inferno Towers uh, getting that nerf? And it is hogs. Hog riders are going to be your go to at Town Hall 10. Uh, because the Infernos can no longer block heals, this strategy is so much more powerful. And also you have the uh, not just the hogs under heal, but you have the queen charges, which we're really seeing on a big scale. Um, I've seen a few attacks, not even with hogs, with dragons, with La Loon. You can pair these new queen charges that are much more powerful um, post-update. You can pair these with any attack strategy, really any back end, hogs, uh, La Loon, dragons, whatever. Um, but hogs are going to be your go-to because uh, both aspects of these, the queen charge hog attack got buffed, the queen charge and the hogs. Um, so you def this is definitely a strategy you guys want to know, and it's one of the, uh, the more powerful strategies, probably um, I'd say much more powerful than the others at this point in time. I haven't seen much miners. Um, this has been the strategy we've been seeing. So we're going to talk in this video about how to do it, uh, what the keys are, um, what to look for now that the infernos are less important basically how to break down a base and go about doing the strategy. These aren't going to all be queen charges, but most of them are going to have a queen charge aspect to them. So this first attack by Star War, right away you notice this won't be possible if the Infernos, uh, like they used to, if it blocked the heal, this queen charge would not have been possible. But because it doesn't, he's able to just basically jump his queen straight at the Inferno, get the defensive queen taken out, grab an Inferno, grab this core compartment, which is very important. So uh, in this video, the main thing I want to stress is two two important things you want to grab with your queen charge or your kill squad, whatever your non-hog part of your attack is. That is the defensive heroes, the queen at least, ideally also the king. Now, he doesn't get the king in this attack, but um, it's mainly that he has a lot of hogs. That's the reason he's able to fight through this last bit of the base. But the king and the skellies are so tough on hogs towards the end, especially level 40 king. So you want to try to get the king and the queen both, and also some of those skellies if you can as well. And you also want to get the core of the base taken out. So the core of the base is something that people often overlook, but the reason it's so important to take out the core of a base in a hog attack before you send in your hogs is that the core, when hogs cut across the core, it often makes it so you can't heal all your hogs in one heal, which is really... Um, difficult to, to deal with because then you have to choose which hogs to heal. Um, it's it's a bad situation for the attacker. Also, when hogs go in the core, you're spreading out the surface area. Um, if I can say that term, if that makes sense, you're spreading out the surface area of your force. Your hogs are spreading out because you have some cutting across the core, some of them staying towards the outside of the base. And when you do that, when you spread out your hogs, it's giving the defender an advantage because there's more defenses engaged at one time. The hogs are being targeted by defenses uh, sooner and it'll take them much longer to get the, to those defenses. So in a hog attack, you wanna maximize the amount, or you wanna minimize the amount of time a defense can target your hogs before your hogs reach that defense. It's the exact same reasoning for La Loon. Um, as soon as the defense starts targeting your loons, you want your loons converging on that defense very quickly. And cutting those defensive targeting troops across the middle of the base, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to make it so that you have all these other defenses engaged that shouldn't be engaged, and your hogs are going to kind of get surrounded and picked off. So you definitely want to take out the core of the base um, for that reason. And also, beyond pathing, it tends to have the high HP buildings that your hogs get stuck on. It tends to have the skelly traps, the giant bombs, stuff that's tough on your hogs. So um, lots and lots of reasons you want to take out the core of the base. This next attack is on a base with single infernos, so already has the, the update in mind, probably designed for post-update attacks. But these single infernos, one way to deal with them that was really nice here that uh, Hader, uh, Hider, I don't know how to say his name, is dropping that skelly spell on the single inferno. That's a great way to, to disarm it. If there's not a bomb tower or wizard tower protecting it, oftentimes just dropping um, a skelly spell on it as your troops are approaching will disarm that single inferno because it'll get stuck on each individual skeleton and it won't be able to target your king or your golems. Uh, but when you're dealing with single infernos, just like multi infernos post update, you can have your hogs or your kill squad attack them. Now, ideally, if you're going to use your kill squad on a single inferno, 
make it so the golem doesn't get targeted right away. You can still come at it with your kill squad, but if you have golem, king, all these high HP troops that you can't afford the single to get locked onto, do your best to make to make sure that the uh, you know the, the single doesn't get on it too quickly. Otherwise, it might be a bad idea to go into it. So you can you can go at any type of inferno with either your hogs or your kill squad, but make sure that if you are going at the single with your kill squad, you're gonna protect those high HP tanks at least for a while. Um, obviously, on a queen charge, you can't queen charge a single inferno. That should be obvious um, unless you have the ability handy, but. Ideally, you won't be charging single infernos. It's just not a good idea most of the time. Um, so let's take a look at another maxed out base over, I'm uh, gonna show some of War Whale's attacks. They had a good war. Um, it was a midweek war, so it was a little bit tough, I think, for us to adjust to the update, but they did a great job uh, having some pretty good bases um, ready for the update. So they defended well, they had some good attacks, a good war to them, but I think we should adjust pretty soon uh, with some friendly challenges, and we should be good to go come the next arranged war now that we get a better feel for the update. So this next attack is uh, King Smithy from War Whales, and uh, this is another Queen Charge hog attack on a, a maxed out base here. And the two things I talk about, getting the core of the base taken out and getting the defensive heroes. That's what you're going to notice is going to go on in this attack. Notice how neither of those two involve the Inferno. So typically, you're, you know, at Town Hall 10, we're so well trained to think when you're thinking of a hog attack and what you want to get with your kill squad, you've got to get at least one Inferno tower taken out. That's no longer the case. The Infernos just aren't as important. Don't get me wrong, there's still a valuable defense to get with your kill squad, but they're mainly... Um, important because of their high HP. That's the main threat, that your hogs are going to get stuck on them for a long period of time. The amount of damage they do is really not a big deal for your hogs, single or multi. Um, now, no notice how the single Inferno took out the king really fast. That's one concern. You just got to be aware. The single Inferno, in some ways, is more of a threat than the multi, um, as I was saying earlier, when you're sending your kill squad at it. Got to be a little careful. But um, both Infernos still up. However, the core is pretty much taken out because the that last Inferno is about to go down, so is that Expo. So the Hogs are going to stay in one group. They're not going to get cut across, not going to split um, up into the core there. So they stay in a compact group. I'll get the benefit of that heal. Uh, has that Skelly spell, which is a nice thing to bring on these Hog attacks. Um, if I were him, I would have used that Skelly spell. He could have saved his King if he dropped it sooner, because the, uh, the single Inferno probably would have got distracted with it. Although there was a multi-Inferno right next to it to kind of take out any skellies that would have spawned. So I guess that might not might not have been the best idea now that I think about it. Um, but he, you know, got the important stuff taken out. The, I think he might have got the king as well with this kill squad. So got both heroes and got the core of the base taken out just as the hogs were moving through. Um, when you, another important point to make is that when you're doing a hog attack, you don't just have to uh, wait for your kill squad to take out the, the two important things on the base and then send the hogs in. They can kind of be simultaneous as long as you get the pathing done by the time the hogs are in the area so they won't overlap with your kill squad too much. Although if you get a heal spell on both your hogs and your kill squad, you know, more power to you if you can heal both parts of your attack within one heal. Uh, that would be pretty good value. So one more attack here down number 20. This is a TDH, I think. Uh, something along those lines. Uh, this one was a, a a nice attack, and this guy had a six star war. So good job to him, um, getting those those three stars post update. A little bit easier, but still not. I'd say nowhere near Town Hall nine from from my early estimates, especially once base building gets better to adjust to this. Um, attacking will get better too, obviously, but I think base building uh, will catch up to uh, to a lot of the new tricks people are using uh, with these queen charges and with the hogs. So this is a strategy you guys might want to use. Um, you know, get the most out of it now because people are going to start trying to defend against it very soon. Um, one other quick note as we take a look at this one here, it's going to be another queen charge. And notice once again, he's going at the heroes, um, which are very, very important, both the king and the queen, to get taken out on a hog attack. But one other note is sometimes, or maybe even often, you guys don't see these anti-three-star bases. You see um, more anti-two-star or less, uh, I don't know how to say it really, but less bases that are less inclined to defend against anti, or 
bases that are less inclined to defend against three stars. I don't really know why it's so hard for me to express this, but uh, when you guys don't, f when you face anti two star bases or whatever you want to call them, um, the situation's different, and it might even be harder at first to three star some of the, those bases now that the infernos are less important. Because um, I think, in in a sense. A lot of them are very compact, which can make it hard for hogs at Town Hall 10 because there's so much damage on those hogs in a small, uh, compact base. So I'll try to make a video on if we see some uh, like good two star anti two star bases, very common bases. I'll try to make a video um, of three stars on those bases because that might be even more helpful than this video. Uh, but regardless, this this base right here had two multi infernos, which you guys uh, might see for a while before people start to adjust and use one or two single infernos, which is probably a better play, um, honestly. So uh, this one had both the multis and did a great job with the queen charge, got both the heroes, and I think he got the core of the base taken out as well um, with his queen charge, which is important. And the hogs are able just to path through on that like in that half circle around the base. That's what you want your hog attack to look like. Getting your queen in there, um, if it is a queen charge or if it's a kill squad, doesn't really matter. But getting those troops in there to take out the heroes and clear out the core of the base so the hogs can move in like a uh, little half circle. Now he had a swag rage, which was, uh, um, wow, well, that was pretty much overkill on this base here. Look at all those hogs he has left up as well. Um, I guess that rage was for the queen, but it turned out he didn't need it. So a nice attack there. That'll do it for this video. I know these aren't weren't all maxed bases, but I think um, three starring any type of Town Hall 10 is is pretty impressive. That has both infernos. And I think all of these bases were at least somewhat upgraded for Town Hall 10. But you guys saw a few max bases. You saw a few multi bases, single bases. Um, in terms of the inferno towers, multi inferno, single inferno. Um, so hopefully you guys got some good knowledge from this video of what you want to do post update and uh, I wish you luck you Town Hall 10s in your hog attacks. That will do it for this video. Much more content coming on the update soon. Going to cover Town Hall 11 3 stars if we start to see those. Going to cover more Town Hall 10. Also the base building of Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 and even some Town Hall 9 because it will be affected post update. Um, just probably not as much as the other two Town Hall levels we'd like to focus on. So that will do it for this video. Um, be sure to check out my Patreon page if you guys want your own custom war base in these crazy times uh, where we don't know exactly how to build a base. I can help you out there. Uh, so check out my Patreon page if you're interested in some base building perks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.